Prototype is a creational designing pattern that lets you copy existing objects without making your code dependent on their classes. Instead of calling a constructor to create a new instance, like for example what happens in the factory method pattern, you call a clone method on the prototype objects, which creates a new instance of the same class. Imagine you have a complex object that you need to clone, and hence you need to create an exact copy of it, because you need to have the same object but with, with a slightly different configuration. You will need to create an instance of this class, go through all the fields of the original objects, and then copy the values. Uh, however, what if this object has private fields that cannot be accessed? It would be even worse if you are using objects passed from a third-party library. Those concrete classes are known, and you have access only only through an interface. You also don't want these concrete classes to be tight coupled to your application. This is what the prototype pattern is for. It lets you create a clone of an existing object instead of creating one from scratch. The first thing you need to do, as always, is to declare your interface. Then you can create your prototype class that will implement this interface. And in the constructor, you can see that I'm receiving an object that represents the source of information that implements the interface you created earlier. We also have an actual implementation for the clone method returning a new instance of the class, and it receives this as argument. The client will be an application that creates a bunch of YouTube channels, but needs to clone them to slightly alter its behavior by adding more subscribers. What you will see in the logs is that the subscriber counts for the channel and cloned YouTube channel, they are going to differ by one because only the cloned method was called, so we can consider that the object was cloned successfully. The pros for this pattern, um, first one is that you can get rid of initialization code when you clone previous classes, you can produce complex classes more conveniently, and it's an alternative to inheritance. The cons of it is that cloning objects with circular reference just sucks. New projects tend to start using the factory method pattern for creating objects and they end up evolving to use other patterns like the abstract factory pattern, builder pattern, and this prototype pattern. All of these patterns are covered in the series, so if you didn't check, just check it out. And that's it, folks. This is the simplest I could get with this pattern. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe for more videos, uh, and see you in the next one. Bye.